Hi everyone, Elliot here for 3D Natives and today we are going to be having a look at the BCN 3D Epsilon W50. This beast of a 3D printer is made in Barcelona by BCN 3D. They have been making 3D printers for 9 years now. Starting out in 2012 with 3D printer kits and making professional pre-assembled 3D printers since the Sigma R19 in 2018. The Epsilon W50 was announced in 2020 along with its smaller sibling, the W27. They both are industrial grade 3D printers featuring a passively heated build chamber and a HEPA filter. As for all BCN 3D 3D printers, the W50 uses BCN 3D's IDEX technology which allows the printer to print in multi-material, dual color, duplication or mirror mode. I know that I have already said that the W50 is a big 3D printer, but as soon as we received ours on a pallet, we really realized how enormous it is. When we unboxed the printer, we were first greeted with all the accessories and paperwork. The accessories are all nicely laid out in some foam, and they include a spatula to remove prints from the build surface, a pair of needle nose pliers to remove support material, a bottle of Magigoo, a set of Allen wrenches, a SD card, a thin aluminium spacer to set the initial Z height, and some e shims to raise your hotends to the same level. The printer being 690 by 530 by 900 millimeters and weighing 37 kilos, you will have to be two to get it out. Two 500 gram rolls of PLA were included with the machine. W50 is very sturdy and well built. Its enclosed frame design is made of steel and acrylic panels, which makes the printer look really sleek and modern. They even included blue LED strips and the top and front acrylic panels are tinted. You can really tell that BCN 3D care about looks. The printer includes high quality components such as two E3D hotends and two Montec extruders. The X and Y axes ride on high wind linear rails and the z-axis is driven by a lead screw and supported by two steel rods. Each hot end assembly has its own purge bucket. The W50, like all other modern BCN 3D machines, uses a Cartesian motion system. After installing the W50, we calibrated it by following the instructions on the touchscreen. It was really easy and took less than half an hour. We did have some trouble setting up the Wi-Fi. But after having updated the printer's firmware via Ethernet, the printer was connected. We also noticed that the links displayed on the screen to guide you in more details did not reach an active web page. Other than that, it was a pleasing experience and we really like how BCN 3D managed to make every step of the calibration so easy. The colored markings on the build plate leveling some screws that match the scheme on the screen or the fact that the printer calculates the number of hot end spacer it needs on its own so that your two hot ends are exactly the same height are details that make the printer so user friendly. Now that we have talked about unboxing and setup, let's talk about the most important part, printing. As soon as the printer was set up, we printed not one, but two benches, thanks to the duplication mode allowed by BCN 3D's IDEX technology. IDEX stands for Independent Dual Extruder. As you can see, the printer uses two hot ends that ride along the X axis independently. They are both connected to their own extruder through a Bowden tube. Because the two hot ends are free to move separately from one another on the X axis but share the same Y axis, the printer can easily duplicate or mirror part. Using two independent hot ends also ensures you don't get any cross contamination during multi material prints. Our two PLA benches took as much time to print as a benchy would normally take and they look very good. The print has nice details and doesn't show any signs of ringing or ghosting. We can only notice that the printer is struggling a bit to print overhangs. In addition to our two benches, we did some more PLA prints. This little Eiffel Tower, which does suffer from cooling issues on the more severe overhang. We also printed this little Gaudi lizard in dual color, thanks to the IDEX technology developed by BCN 3D. We also tried out soluble supports used PVA as a support and PLA for the print. We also made this little lattice cube which benefits a lot of soluble supports. Here is the same print without any support for comparison. We also wanted to try printing a nice big model. It took 56 hours to print but the print was successful and everything turned out well. We then decided to try other less common 
but interesting materials. Starting out with polypropylene, which is a thermoplastic used to make Tupperwares. We just had to load the material on one extruder, tell BCN 3D Cura which material was loaded on what extruder, and slice our model with the pre-configured profile. The print that came out with the default printer amazed us. It was really easy to print and gave us a really nice result, almost nice on PLA. This is the first print we made out of polypropylene, the base of a water rocket launcher. As you can see, the edges did warp, but it is actually our fault as we disabled the brim that was enabled in the default profile. For the feed and release mechanism, we enabled the brim and did not have any warping issues anymore. The print lines are almost invisible with polypropylene and as this material requires less cooling, the W50 does a good job of printing it. We then printed a few <laughs> water rocket nozzles which feature more details and have a thread on the inside. The parts did not show any defects and the threads were well printed. Lastly, we printed a catapult and that's when we were reminded of polypropylene's printing properties. The print looks nice up to that part, but as soon as the part to print between each layer becomes too little, the plastic doesn't have enough time to cool between each layer and the new layer squishes the ones under. After polypropylene, we tried out ABS. And once again, our first print was a banshee! Once the print was finished, it looked really nice, but when we tried to remove it from the print bed, the print was fused to the glass and actually chipped it. As you can see, there is still a chunk of glass on the bottom of the print. For the following prints, we flipped the print bed. To avoid chipping the bed once again, we put more magic goo and enabled the raft. We then decided to print the chassis of an RC car that we designed, as it is a big structural print. It took 36 hours to complete, but the end result is really neat. It was quite hard to separate the print from the bed, but with some water, a spatula and patience, the print separated without any problem. We had designed the model with 0.15mm tolerances. The bearings, servos, engine and fuel tank fit perfectly on the first try. We experimented a lot with the BCN 3D Epsilon W50 and after more than 200 hours of printing we are happy to see that the machine is still as reliable as when we first unboxed it. It's the ease of use and the fine tuning of the profiles that makes the Epsilon W50 enjoyable to use. About those fine tunings, we did run into some little issues with material settings which needed minor tuning, but BCN 3D was very reactive and corrected almost all the settings in later firmware updates. Other issues we ran into had to do with material storage, as some materials like PVA or PA are very hygroscopic, meaning they absorb humidity in the air. Luckily, BCN 3D is working on the smart cabinet to tackle the issue at an added cost of 2,500 euros. All in all, we think that the W50 is a good 3D printer for anyone wanting to print technical materials without having to maintain the machine between each print. At a cost of 6,995 euros, the W50 seems like an interesting machine for a company without any experience with 3D printing, as it guides the user during every step. In the meantime, anyone looking for 3D printing with custom materials and more advanced materials should definitely have a look at the W50. On future BCN 3D machines, we would like to see an improved fan duct to cool the filament for PLA prints. We also think a camera would be a very nice addition to monitor prints thanks to the BCN 3D cloud. All things considered, we gave the BCN 3D Epsilon W50 an overall score of 9.3 out of 10. If you want to learn more on how we got to this score, check out our written article on 3D Natives by clicking here.